hey lovelies welcome back to the channel so if you are new here my name is Bridget and this is my daughter Jasmine and in today's video I'm going to be showing you all three ways um, you can use aloe vera together with oils to get massive results on your hair as you can see Jasmine's hair was really damaged and I've been doing some work real work on her hair and I'm really happy with the result and this is my aloe vera guys I got it from my local Indian shop here in Sweden I live in Gothenburg Sweden so that is where I got my aloe vera I know many people ask where I get my aloe vera yeah I get it from the local Indian shop here in my city and this one is really big I really really love going to that shop to get my aloe vera and yeah guys you know aloe vera has long been used for treating hair loss it also suits the scalp and conditions the hair aloe vera can also help reduce dandruff and unblock hair follicles that may be blocked by excess oils you know you can that is for those who have like extremely oily scalp yeah and you know um aloe vera when apply when you apply pure, pure aloe vera on your scalp it helps to nourish and condition your scalp as you can as you all know the scalp is the gateway to any hair growth so aloe vera is really good on the scalp which helps to in, uh, to to you know which helps to um increase hair growth and you can use this you can use aloe vera on your hair even two to three times um, a week, you know, on your hair. There is no side effect, you know, to using aloe vera on your hair. And aloe vera contains something called protolytic enzymes, which repair dead skin cells on the scalp. It also acts as a great conditioner and leaves your hair all smooth and shiny. It promotes hair growth, prevents itchy scalp, and reduces dandruff and condition your hair inside out and because i want just the aloe vera uh, gel i don't i don't want aloe vera juice like this is different between aloe vera gel and aloe vera juice anyways to me if i wanted the aloe vera juice i'll just go ahead to blend everything and then i use my cheesecloth to strain out the aloe vera uh, juice but I've, since i want the gel as you can see the consistency so to me this is the gel that is how i love my aloe vera and these are the oils i'm going to be using so olive oil was the first oil amla oil and this brand i'm not going to be buying this brand of uh, amla oil again because i think it has some mineral oils and i want pure oil when i'm doing a serious diy like this yeah then i have almond oil neem oil um Jamaican black castor oil, which is really good for the scalp. I also have rosemary oil, and I also have uh, some peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is extremely good on the scalp. I just love how it suits my scalp, guys. And then the next oil is vit vit vitamin E oil, and then coconut oil. The coconut oil is really drying on my scalp, on my hair, so I don't really use it as often as I use olive oil. And this black seed oil is the truth. I'll be putting the link in the description box down below. So if you want to get the purest form of black seed oil, you can just order it from this website. And this one is my chibi oil. This one was sent to me by my friend back home. Yeah, this one is my DIY oil. I also have a video on my channel how I make that Ayurveda hair oil. And that is extremely, guys, that oil is really nice. And I'll be using some sulfur aid. Like I said, I'll be showing you all three ways you can use um, mixed oils and aloe vera to achieve your desired result. Um, like I, I showed you guys all the oils and you don't have to have all these oils. You can have like three or four and you're good to go. Even the DIY, you can make the DIY oils because they are really easy to make. Yeah, you can just go ahead to make your own oils at home and then you use it, um, you know, you use it with your aloe vera and yeah i'll just be showing you all the first this is the first method and i went in with like one teaspoon of each oils i think the most marine oil i added like one half
and you want to make sure that the leave-in conditioner goes into every strand of your hair you know most of the times people don't put leave-in conditioner on every strand of their hair and you know after moisturizing their hair like one to two days or maybe even one day their hair already feels super dry so it is good to apply your leave-in conditioner on every strand of your hair so after I'm done applying the leave-in conditioner on every strand of my hair I'll just go ahead to take my mixture so I just put the mixture into this application bottle and then I'll just put it all over my hair So the second way I mix aloe vera and oils is to use it as a scalp massage oil guys and I'll be using these uh, the first oil is this my anti itch um, oils and this one is from ORS I got this one one long ago I think it's like uh, it's been like two years now and this thing is really good if you have itchy scalp and because I'm going to be making like a hair a scalp massage uh, oil i'll be using peppermint oil peppermint oil is really good on the hair because it 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 stimulates the, the scalp it has this tingling sensation you know which helps to stimulate the scalp and then i use sulfur 8 and then i use uh, jamaican black castor oil which is extremely good on the scalp i also use uh, the black seed oil which is really 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 good on the scalp too and then i'll just go ahead to add like one or two this uh, tablespoon of my aloe vera gel and this is what it looks like the consistency is really good it is not really thick it is not light it's like in the middle and using this you just apply it on your scalp and then you just massage your scalp thoroughly and i love doing this when the hair is dry yeah i love doing it I just put this in a container and then i use it like every other day and you can store this in the refrigerator yeah since the aloe vera gel is fresh you can store this in the refrigerator and then this is the third way you can mix aloe vera and oils to achieve your desired result so i use jamaican black castor oil i use my ayurveda um, uh, diy oil i'll be putting the link in the description box down below and the coconut oil guys i suddenly use coconut oil as for now yeah because i realized that coconut oil tends to dry out my hair except i'm doing like kind of deep treatment or maybe a washable conditioner yeah and this one you can just it's like a mask you can just apply it on your hair you cover your hair with a plastic bag and then you leave it overnight it can also act like a pre and then you just wash your hair the next day and you can also use it as a leave-in conditioner if you want but if you want something like a pre pool then you can use that so this is my leave-in conditioning spray i use on my hair you know from the aloe vera i made yeah just blend it and then i take out the the aloe vera leave in um yeah from the aloe vera and thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video have a blessed day bye